Okay, so first of all, I'll go down to the sheet tab at the bottom and then right click and go to view code. Then in the first drop down list, I'll change it to worksheet. And in the second drop down list, I will click on change. Then delete this part here. Then I will adjust this to make it easier to see. Then I'll type in active sheet dot name is equal to range B5. And then when I change the value in B5, the name of the sheet will update to match it. Now we need to save this. So I'll go to file and save as and change it to an Excel macro enabled workbook and then save. And this is the simplest version of the code, but we can add some more things to this. So at the moment, the code is running every time something in the workbook changes, but we want it to run only when the value in B5 changes. In order to make that happen, we will type in if not intersect and then in brackets, we'll put target range B5 is nothing then. And now we have an if test. We also need an end if here. And so what we are testing is if the target and B5 intersect and we get target from up here. So in other words, we're looking to see if target and B5 are the same. And if they are not, then we want it to do nothing. And if they are the same, then we want it to run this piece of code. Now I'll change the value in here to an asterisk and this throws up a helpful error because there are some things that the cell can contain but the sheet name can't. So the sheet name can't be longer than 31 characters, the sheet name can't contain any of these characters and also the sheet name can't be blank. So we will end this and then we'll deal with these potential errors. To start with, I will set name underscore cell equal to range B5. So that if at any point in the future, I want to change the cell, I only need to change it in two places. Then I can change this here to name underscore cell. Then I'll add in an if test. So if name underscore cell is equal to blank, then exit sub. So now if I delete the value in this cell, it just won't do anything. Then I'll also add in left here and the length will be 31 characters. So if the value in B5 has more than 31 characters, then it will only take the first 31 characters. So the 31 characters on the left hand side. We can test this. So I'll put in a whole bunch of A's here and then a bunch of B's. And we can see that the sheet name has just A's in it and it stops before it gets to the B's. Then we also need to deal with all of the illegal characters. So I'll say on error, go to bad name. And then I need an exit sub here. Then if we get an error, we will go to bad name and we want a message box to pop up. And that message box will say cell contains illegal characters. So now if I type in a name that includes illegal characters, then this message box will pop up. 
So then I can change the name to get rid of the illegal character. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to get the sheet name to match a value in a cell, and that is everything.